Hi everybody, it's Melanie here again from Parents Matter here in Valley. Thanks for joining us again for a great, what we hope will be another informative little video. Uh, this one today is with Tracy, who is from Hobart College. Now, um, I'm sure most of you are aware of Hobart College, but for those of you who aren't, Hobart College, obviously Tracy, traditionally was really the only year 11, 12 option for kids from the Huon. Um, you know, if you left grade 10 here and wanted to go into year 11 and 12, it was always at Hobart College. Oh. Yeah. We now have year 11 and 12 yeah. at the high school here, which we've talked about in some um, other videos with Jen. But if kids decide they would like to go and do year 11 and 12 at Hobart, what are some of the options that are available there? What would be some of the benefits to going to year 11 and 12 at Hobart College? Thanks, Mel, and thanks very much for the opportunity to um, talk with you today. No worries. <clears throat> and as you've said, it's great now that students have more flexibility um, because we've got a long history of working with Huonville High School yep. and we've had students enrolling across both our schools. Um, but students have got even more flexibility now with Kingston yeah. High coming on board and next year for the first time Woodbridge so and Dover so we do have students who enrol uh, solely with us yep. from the Huon Valley we've got a long history of students enrolling with us or um, more recently doing part of their program at Dover or Huonville High and then coming to Hobart College for a couple of days. So we've got a timetable that allows that really well. So the usual model is that students might do Monday, Wednesday, Friday with us and Tuesday, Thursday um, at the Huonville High Trade Training Centre or right. vice versa. Yeah, so okay. yeah, so the um, way that uh, we support students from the Valley um, as well as all the normal, you know, check out the website, we've got virtual Taster College information. Every learning area has videos that will show the facilities um, and the programs on offer. But parents and carers and students can come and have an individual appointment. We can do some course counselling. Um, they can have a tour. Yeah, how fantastic. Yeah. So I guess just going back when you were saying kind of combined courses, we've talked a little bit about that in relation to Huonville as well. So I guess it's yeah. that really great flexibility. I think something that Hobart probably offers that Huonville potentially doesn't is a broader subject range, yes. I would yes. suggest. So that's yes. still available. You wanted yeah. to do some, have a, a bigger choice of, of subjects Absolutely. to do. And that's one of the advantages of a college is that because of our size, we offer about 110 of those task subjects, the level yep. one, two, three, the pre-tertiary ones that go into university, um, as well as all the foundation. And we've got about 15 VET programs. Yep. So the breadth of programs, absolutely. You know, we've got five languages. We are able to offer um, all the specialist subjects within a learning area. So um, for example, in visual art, we can offer ceramics, mixed media, photography, um, as well as graphic design. So I think we offer nearly all the subjects on the scope yeah, and some fantastic. of the vocational programs are very niche, electro-technology, salon assistant. Um, we've got the usual hospitality, tourism, business, children's services. They're all there, all the information's there. Yeah. But um, that's one of the advantages that you can access specialist subjects, specialist yeah. teachers and facilities. And still have the advantage too, as we were talking yeah. before, going between the both schools. Yes. If you don't want to be travelling yeah. every day, don't. maybe you can do yeah. your core subjects at Huonville and travel. Yeah. But there's still obviously that potential if you wanted to full-time enrol at Hobart College, that yes. would be okay too. Yeah. And um, one of the other things we do is work with students after they've done their enrolment. We try and fit their study line to best... Uh, bus connections because yes. we understand for a lot of students it's the first time that they may be uh, negotiating buses Absolutely. so we really try and support them with that and we have a breakfast program every morning run out of the canteen you can get a hot uh, drink and breakfast items That's so right. we make sure that at least everyone starts the day with hot drink and something to eat yeah and look I mean I've made a few jokes about my age 
stage in the past in these interviews, but I went to Hobart College a little while ago and honestly, buses, I had never done anything other than yeah. some very limited bus travel on a country bus here. Yeah. So it's really great and it can be scary. And now as a parent, I can see how it is yeah. really scary um, thinking yeah. about your kids. They still seem like kids, really they're not. They're pretty much adults, but they feel like that when you're a parent, worrying about will they even know how yeah. to get a bus and when and yeah. how. So that's a really great thing. And one of the things I say to every student on the first day is we will not leave you in the bus park at the end <laughs> of the day. We make we have a duty of care to make sure every student gets home that's great. safely. And uh, we have someone who greets students of a morning in the bus park and we spend a lot of time in the first couple of weeks making sure that students know which bus to catch and uh, if it you know goes pear-shaped yeah. we'll support them to make sure they get home. That's great. Yeah. Just quickly back to the, um, the potential for parents. Uh, as we've mentioned a few times all of the people that I'm interviewing we have links to all of their websites on our website Parents Matter Hugh and Valley website but find it, Google it any other way. Hobart College, College. has a great website. Yes. Yep. Um, and you guys have a lot of really fantastic videos which give a lot of information for people. Yeah. But if somebody does want to do something in person, you were mentioning the potential for tourism. Absolutely. Thing. So we have parents and carers and students coming at the moment, having individual visits. They can do mini tasters, um, particularly where students might be um, really anxious about yeah. what this transition is going to be like. Stressed. So they can come, have a walk around, uh, mm -hmm either during the day while classes are running or after school, and yeah. then we can organise a follow-up taster. Right. Now, visit. do you usually recommend that just for the Grade 10, the students who are in Grade 10 now and leaving, intending to be in Grade yeah. 11 next year, that's that's planned for that age? Or yes. would you suggest parents could do that at an earlier age? What, what's your thoughts on that? No, I think um, it's more information just in time I'd be Great. focusing on grade 10s. All right perfect yeah. that's who yeah. we're focusing on yes. so good yeah. to know. Yeah. All right I I think that's probably all the questions I had have you got anything else you feel we need to go over Tracy? Or, I or think good? no I think um, your videos have been really good at explaining how important it is for every student to finish year 12 with a meaningful qualification yes. we want to set them up for success for the future whether it's in employment or university yes. and if Hobart College is part of that journey we really look forward to supporting students and their parents uh, in helping students be successful. Yeah. So I guess on that point Hobart College as um, Tracy was just mentioning still do have quite a lot of career ready courses they're the VET courses in case yeah. Um, you're not quite sure of the terminology there. So they're the ones that get you really ready for a job and probably a, a tr more of a trade-style job. But also, of course, they have those pre-tertiary-style yeah. subjects ready to go to uni. So some great options there. Check out our website for the links to Hobart College as usual. Thanks for joining us again today, everybody. Thank you so much for no your problem. time, Tracy. Thanks, and we'll see you all at another video soon. Bye.